This movie is excellent on every level possible. This is a beautiful movie with great performances in it. Images from this film stay in my mind. I think it's just almost like a perfect movie. It is definitely an essential. Now, Voyager from 1942. It's a wonderful, unconventional love story at a time when most love stories were very conventional. Now, Voyager is somewhat the personification of the era. One of the great moments of film is when she is revealed. You see every shade of Betty Davis in this film. I wish I understood you. Since we just met this morning, how could you possibly? Well, I won't be long. He wishes he understood me. He wishes. First, I have to ask you a question, because yeah. I don't know this about you. What? Are you a Betty Davis fan? You know, I am. You notice there was a sort of qualified yeah, note to it. There was a, a note. I am, I very much am, um, but I. But you also have to recognize, and obviously you do, is that she she spanned so many eras of acting styles. Right. And there was an era of acting style that that took place in in the heart of the '40s when she was, you know, at, at her at her prime. It, it wasn't my favorite kind of. Of, of film acting. It had a tendency to be very big, right. very, very dramatic. But as she transitioned and got older, when you look at her work later on in All About Eve, it's so good. I mean, mm -hmm. All About Eve is, 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 is a perfect performance. Right. It's just exquisite. So I think she transitioned into uh, an actor then I could identify with. More than that, I think I appreciated that she was there and who she was and mm -hmm. how she fought to get movies made and, mm -hmm. uh, and all the movies that she did make are, whether you like them or not, they're always interesting and provocative. And just one right after another. One right after the other. So, I, I, so how do you feel about Now Voyager? Well, I think it's an essential. You may not love the movie because, again, it is very much in this style of, of, of of acting. Bigger than life acting. Bigger than life, but it's wonderful. It's a wonderful, uh, unconventional love story, which at the time most love stories were very conventional. It's dramatic and it works, and um, and the movie is it's thrilling. Yes. I think it's such an essential Betty Davis because it shows all the aspects of her. Mm -hmm. Where she can be the neurotic, you know, overweight Aunt Charlotte. My mother doesn't approve of dieting. And then she's the glamorous one. A soft spoken. I thought that men didn't like girls who were prudes. She could be tender. Yes. She's got these wonderful scenes with Gladys Cooper playing her mother. Yes. Where she's very, you know, very strong and forceful. I'm not afraid, Mom. You just see all shades of her. Yeah. And I like the story. It's an interesting story. It is. It yeah. Is. It's and a very complicated story. The fact it holds up so well all these years later. Yeah. Because that was another world, 1942. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what you do for us, though. That's what this show does for us. You know, you show us the worlds that we think are long gone, but yes. then when we see them, we realize how much we relate to, you know, all those years ago. Right. So let's see the movie. Okay. Here it is. Here's Betty Davis doing what she does best, captivating audiences, past and present. 1942, also with Claude Rains and Paul Henry, now Voyager.